Hi guys, hope you all doing well and in this video we are going to talk about Azure Active Directory SaaS applications and this will be the first video of the entire playlist that I will be creating uh, for SaaS applications. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about what are uh, the types of applications that are available in terms of uh, Azure Active Directory. What were the traditional methods that, that were used before Azure Active Directory uh, was introduced or any of the directory service was introduced by any of the cloud solution providers? We can think of as uh, Amazon providing you the identity management. We can think of Oracle providing you Oracle identity uh, provider as a, uh, as a service which handles uh, directory or we can also think of uh, Google as well. So uh, there are multiple cloud solution providers which provide you directory service. And we, we are going to learn or we are going to know that what were the traditional methods which application developers or admins were using before any of the cloud solution provider introduced a directory service or to be specific identity as a service. We are also going to know uh, why you should use Azure Active Directory, what purpose it solves, and what exactly uh, do I mean uh, when I say identity as a service, and also some benefits uh, which a developer, admin, or user gets while you use Azure Active Directory. So let's talk about the traditional methods of identity management. Let's say you have an application uh, be it web or native, which needs the user uh, to provide credentials. That means there must be a user object in your database uh, with which you have binded certain credentials, which you're going to provide to your users. And then they will use them to access your application. Let's say you have a limited set of users which who are going to use your applications. So what uh, what we were doing traditionally is we were maintaining a database when we were storing username and password and we are providing that credentials to our users via email or any mode of communication we and, and we are letting them know that from now onwards this is a username and password that you have to use for this particular application now the question comes that in these kind of scenarios being as an application developer or being as an admin, uh, you you had two choices. Either you should maintain the directory, uh, not the directory, the user credentials on your own, or you might have designed a portal uh, or a web page, something like that. Let's say if user forgets the password or if user updates any of uh, the details like address or any of the attribute that belongs to that particular user, he wants to he or she wants to update that particular information so either they were contacting you or you had certain uh, portal wherein they can go and update the details so the basic is uh, basic fundamental here is that uh, the tasks that were associated in terms of identity management were huge so uh, this is the example uh, when i'm talking you have one application this this example fits in best when you have only one application and you have let's say about 10 15 or even 20 30 users and at cert, up to a certain limit it is possible for you to do the identity management but let's say you you are designing an application you know that that you're going to provide any uh, that you're going to provide to any of the enterprise so here comes the issue you know managing uh, thousands of identities like this is not a feasible solution so that's why we need uh, or uh, what was there what what brought the change is of getting identity as a service so uh, this example was only for one application now let's say you have four applications like this and you have common users that means uh, you have let's say a limited set of users that are going to use all the four applications now if all these applications would have a different database and one single user request you to get the password changed 
uh, with the condition that he wants the same password on all the applications then you have to manually change the password on all the four applications or again if you have a portal that will be done by default but ma managing a portal is also something that belongs to you and which you have to maintain on daily basis so now consider this situation wherein you being an admin managing four databases for one single user which has access to four the all of the four applications so the tasks that we were doing on real-time basis or on daily basis were huge as compared to what we can do right now by implementing any of uh, the directory services which provide identity as a service now let's move on uh, to the next part of why you should use Azure Active Directory now if you have subscribed for any of the Microsoft online service, if your enterprise or the company for which you are working has any of the enterprise service or any of the Microsoft online service, you will already have an Azure Active Directory. Now what Azure Active Directory is that you can go ahead and manually create user accounts. You can add N number of applications and all you need to do is you have to assign your users the applications that you have added in your directory and they will be able to sign in into that particular application by using the identity which is already there in Azure Active Directory. Let me explain this uh, with an example. Let's consider the same scenario which we had with a traditional method. I have an application be it, nev be it web or native and I need identities. I need claim based identities for this application now when i say claim based identity i need a security token by using a set of protocols and once i receive that token i will extract certain claims which my application is going to use to present a profile to one of my user with the traditional methods we were doing this manually but now with azure active directory and now with the open libraries uh, open authentication handlers uh, for different different platforms available from Azure Active Directory what you can do is you can simply add Azure Active Directory as a claim provider for your application now claim provider is uh, something which you can consider of uh, as uh, identity provider wherein uh, Azure Active Directory is going to query the limited set of uh, attributes of a user object which you have coded in your application and it's going to bind it in a certain uh, way or in a security token and Azure AD will provide you a token now all you need to do is with the help of any of the authentication handler with the help of any of the methods or a protocol that you are using you can consume that token and get the profile presented to the user so instead of maintaining the entire identity instead of meaning the entire user object on your application instead of creating local accounts on your application what you can do is you can simply accept the token from azure active directory and then you can move forward with your application features or with your application functions now this is example uh, which i've shown with the one single application let's say you are an enterprise developer and you maintain thousands of identities or you have thousands of users and you have n number of applications so with all the applications what you need to do is you have to just add this Azure Active Directory as a claim provider now instead of maintaining four database there is only one single identity provider which will serve all the applications and the best part is that Azure Active Directory with Azure Active Directory users can themselves go ahead and update any of the details whichever they want now when I say details it could be address it could be contact details it could be anything it could be their profile picture it could be anything and the information which is there in azure active directory all of all the set of your applications can query that claims and do their own task the protocols which are supported as of now is ws fed saml oauth and open id connect i will be covering uh, a sample application example with all these four protocols in a different video this is just a brief introductory about how you should use 
or why you should use Azure Active Directory for your applications to reduce the admin task and to be more productive in terms of uh, managing the application and introducing new features. The best part of Azure Active Directory is that if you can consider an example that you need display name of the user to present a profile and what you can do, you can query display name. But let's say after a certain uh, period of time, what you decide that based on the user behavior, what you need is you have to send an email to users on a weekly basis or a monthly basis what we can do is we can just add on one more query on our application or we can uh, add uh, a rule on Azure Active Directory to send your application the email address of the user as well that's what we called claim caching wherein we were doing n number of coding you know n lines of coding when we were uh, used to have our own identity management with Azure Active Directory is just a matter of couple of clicks and a certain policy which you can bind with your application and you have more attributes for your users uh, which you can use as per your application requirement. Moving on to the next slides which, uh, which will be listing about uh, what could be the benefits of using Azure Active Directory for admins as well as for users. So for admins, there is no need to maintain the identity database, those giant identity database, and that two application is specific. One single password for all the applications in terms of users. So uh, if you remember the first scenario that we were talking about, wherein you have four traditional applications, your user might have different password for different applications, or you can go ahead and make a change or for all the four applications so that the user should use the same password with Azure Active Directory since it's one single point of contact. It will be one single point of contact for all your applications. So once even the user himself reset the password, he can use the same password with all the applications. For admins, for sure, it helps you to do less administration and in terms of maintaining the entire identity of a user object. And what a common behavior which we observed if, if we talk about in uh, traditional environments that if we had four applications, we used to provide four different hyperlinks to our users and uh, what the common behavior was, they were adding all the links in their favorites or they are either bookmarking it. With Azure Active Directory, you get a portal which is there by default for every user. So any user object that exists in Azure Active Directory, be it a object that you have synced from on-prem or be it an object that you have created manually, a cloud-only object in Azure Active Directory, they have access to myapps.microsoft.com. The moment you will assign any of the application to a user, they can simply sign on here and they will see the application getting listed over there. And that too with true SSO. So one single password used for my apps, one single password for used for all the applications with the single sign-on feature, with the seamless single sign-on feature, which increases or which, you know, just, uh, uh, which makes the user amazed, you know, that by clicking on one single or by logging on to one single portal, they can access all the applications. It's all about educating your users to use the best possible solutions that you have created to make their life more easier. And this is the same uh, scenario which I was discussing in the traditional environment that either you could use your own, uh, either you can do the identity management or you might have a portal. So with Azure Active Directory, there is no requirement, there is no extra code required. There is nothing which you need to do from the application or on the application all you need to do is you have to ask the users to go to myapps.microsoft.com and with the new assignment every time they'll see a different icon they see one more icon getting added on this portal which will allow them to access the application so this was all about uh, the introductory of uh, azure active directory SaaS applications in the next video, I'm going to talk about what is an application object and what is a service principle object and how they are binded with each other. 
I would appreciate if you can go through with the entire playlist and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach me at learnconceptswork at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.